I'm Nathan Liao and the website is watchmanscry.com. Almost 10 years ago, the Lord called me to be a watchman, to be up on the wall to warn America and the world of things that were coming. When I first started, George Bush was the president, and I warned about the things that he was doing. I talked about the Patriot Act and the North American Union. I was against the TARP bailout. And then when Obama was voted into office, I maintained my vigilance. And I called out the things that he was doing. I cried out from the wall that Obama was destroying this nation. Eight years has gone by, and now here we are with a new president. Now, ladies and gentlemen, my commitment to being on the wall is the same. Because it doesn't matter who the president is, the land is still ripe for judgment. Since the crash of 2008, America has been under judgment. We saw a great economic crisis eight years ago. One third of the country doesn't work. One third of the country is on food stamps. This country is in a mess right now. Because the end game of this planet is to take the entire world and all of its nations into a one world government because it's Bible prophecy. The Bible tells us that this is coming. So for America, it's not going to change. And it doesn't matter who the president is. So when Donald Trump was elected president, I maintain my vigilance. I have been consistent with my vigilance to warn all of you. But now that we have Donald Trump as the president, some people are thinking that there's a reprieve. Some people are, are believing that it's all on hold. And my friends, my Christian brethren, there is no reprieve. Judgment is still coming to this land. Judgment is still over this land. And God is going to use Donald Trump as one of his agents of judgment. And I am going to maintain my vigilance on the wall. And I'm going to continue to warn. So I am doing my part to uncover the truth and present it to you so that you can see what the truth really is. And I have uncovered some things about Donald Trump that prove that we're in trouble with him as the president. And in this video, I'm going to talk about one of them. Now, we have to face this, folks, because pretending does not fill your lamp with oil. When people are pretending that everything's great and they're believing that we're under a, a reprieve from God's judgment, there's a tendency not to pray as much. There's a, a tendency not to seek the Lord as much. There's a tendency not to repent. And the end result of that is that people end up without oil in their lamps. It evaporates. Their oil is used up and then they're not going to be ready to walk through the darkness. And without the lamp of God, darkness is hard to walk through. In order for the United States of America to succeed, to be great, the leadership of this country must be able to think rationally. It must. They must be able to Think with honesty. And they must be able to understand reality. They, they have to be able to understand what's true. But Donald Trump lacks these abilities. Now before you turn this off and get mad at me and disagree, let me prove it to you. Now what I'm about to show you should concern you. Now watch this. During the inauguration when Trump was sworn in, it began to rain. And when the, the Reverend Franklin Graham prayed for him and did the benediction during the inauguration, he commented about the rain. He said, rain is a blessing, so the, the rain's coming down on you, Mr. Trump. May you be blessed. And a lot of you saw that. You remember that. The next day, Christians wrote articles about it. But here's where it gets weird. And I have no explanation for it. The day after the inauguration, Donald Trump spoke at CIA headquarters in Virginia. And in his talk, he made a recollection about his speech the day before. And when he was talking about his inaugural speech, he said something that was bizarre. It made no sense. He said that it didn't rain during his speech, and in fact, the sun came out. And he said God above decided that it wasn't going to rain on him while he was given his inaugural speech. Watch this, folks. Listen to this. They showed a field where there were practically nobody standing there. And they said, Donald Trump did not draw well. I said, 
It was almost raining. The rain should have scared him away, but God looked down and he said, we're not going to let it rain on your speech. In fact, I, when I first started, I said, oh, no. First line, I hit, got hit by a couple of drops. And I said, oh, this is, this is too bad, but we'll go right through it. But the truth is that it stopped immediately. It was amazing. And then it became really sunny. Then I walked off and it poured right after I left. It... Now, you just heard Donald Trump say that God above said, nope, it's not going to have rain on him today. Not while he's talking. And the sun came out. You heard him say that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. There are raindrops hitting the plexiglass in front of them. You can see the raindrops falling through the video. Here's a still shot right here of the rain. It's rain. It was raining. You see people with umbrellas. George Bush fought with his raincoat plastic that they were handing out. And then, now watch this again. A military officer delivers an umbrella to Melania and Michelle while Trump was speaking. You, do you see that? There's an umbrella in his hand. For those of you that may say, Nathan, you're being critical. You're, you're, you're being picky. That's not what this is about. I am identifying and proving, I'm showing you that Donald J. Trump has a problem telling the truth. And he has a problem understanding reality. Now, before anyone says, well, Nathan, that's no big deal. Folks, there is no reason for him to lie about this. There was no reason for him to recreate the reality of this. What Donald Trump did at the CIA speech, it takes lying to a whole new level. So, how do we explain this? Does it matter? Because if a man can so easily lie about something that is trivial, like the weather, ladies and gentlemen, what else are they going to lie about? What else? As I thought about this, and I've wondered about it, I tried to identify the reasons maybe why he did it. And by the way, folks, there's no good way to, to spin this and sugarcoat it. There's no good way to, to make it sound good. They're all bad what I came up with. But let's start with the basic reason that Donald Trump did this. Why he told a fib about the weather. Number one, because he's a pathological liar. And he just likes doing it. Truth doesn't matter to him. And apparently, neither does self-awareness. Now that's the first reason, which is horrible in itself. But number two, watch this, folks. Stay with me. What if the reason that he did it is because He's insane. Now think about that for a moment. He either lied on purpose or the guy's insane. And if he's insane, he's, that means he's demented. Now I know that's far-fetched. I know it sounds crazy. Now folks, I've been on the wall for 10 years almost. And I have watched leaders come and go. But I have to say that the present mental condition of the president, the way he's acting and the way he behaves, defies normalcy and it should concern you it should concern you because he's he's the president and it should concern you because this is the kind of person that we're gonna have for the next four years well hold on that's if he doesn't get impeached or quit or resign or God forbid harm comes to him but otherwise this is what we have now if you are a Bible-believing Christian and you're angry with me for sharing this, don't be mad at me, folks. I didn't lie about the inaugural speech. I didn't go to the CIA headquarters and recreate history. Donald Trump did. So, again, if he can so easily lie about the weather, something so trivial, folks, think about this. What else is he going to lie about? He's the guy that's going to write all the executive orders. He's the guy that's going to sign the bills. He's the guy that's going to send our troops to fight new wars. He's the one that's going to pick fights with other countries. So what do we do? Do we dismiss it? Do we say 
in spite of his pathological lying problem or hallucination problem or insanity problem, he's going to still make America great. Really? Do you really think so? When we go back and look at history and, and we observe other world leaders that have come and gone, but during their tenure of the, their leadership, they exploded the world to fire and destruction and war and mayhem. They were insane. Hitler was insane. Baby Dr. Villiers, the leader of Haiti, insane. Some of those warlords in Africa, insane. They can't think straight. And now, here we have a, a president here in the United States who can't think straight. Folks, there's no way to sugarcoat this. Ladies and gentlemen, brethren of the faith, friends on YouTube, American citizens, patriots, Bible-believing Christians, those who are concerned with the welfare of their family, all of you, we have entered a new season of insanity. And because Donald Trump is at the helm, I expect that eventually we're going to see global war. We're going to see internal fires. We're going to see internal chaos, domestic chaos. We're going to see foreign policy chaos and catastrophe for the United States of America. Trump is not going to make America great. Donald J. Trump is going to bring a whirlwind to this country and he is going to set America on fire. Now, I'm telling you this, I'm saying this because it's true. I'm not going to pretend about it. I can't pretend. I'm concerned and you need to be concerned also. We're in trouble, folks. So get your houses in order. Get your heart in order with God. Make peace with God. Make peace with Jesus. Repent. Start inventorying your life, ladies and gentlemen. My friends, start dealing with the issues of life. Don't settle down. Don't go to sleep. Don't believe the lie that everything's great. Right now, we are watching, even as I record this YouTube, as I record this video, even right now, there are powder ke kegs developing in Washington, D.C. Trump has tweeted some things, some accusations about Obama. He has said some things about Obama. And the reason for that was because he wanted to deviate the focus that was on him about his Russia problem. Donald Trump has a Russian problem. His staff members have colluded with Russia. And they're slowly coming out of the woodwork. The investigation is showing Paul Manafort, Sessions, Michael Flynn, and others have met with Russia during the campaign. During the campaign they met often. And this thing's going to all come to light. And depending on how it processes, we could see an eruption on Capitol Hill that will destroy the fabric that holds our government together. We could see a chaos, a, a ripple effect that brings chaos to the parties, to the different offices. Folks, this is not good. It could erupt into civil war. It could erupt into citizens fighting other citizens because they're picking their loyalties. This is not good, folks. So start preparing. Continue your preparation because a volcanic eruption of society is coming. Now, I'm going to be sharing a lot more of this in the future. I'm going to be talking about more of these things in the days ahead. I'm going to be making YouTubes. So if you want to stay abreast of these things as I put them out, subscribe right now. Subscribe to this channel so that you'll be notified. Also, you can go to my website at watchmanscry.com. I have a link in the information down below. And you can click on it and see some of the research that I've also put into hard print and also audio programs as well as radio programs. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are in very dire times right now. Please do not go to sleep. Please do not go to sleep. If you voted for Trump, I know that you, you want you did it because you didn't want Hillary. That's fine. That's behind us. That's behind us. You did it because that's what you felt was right. But now we must hold Trump accountable under our vigilant watch. We have to, folks. If you're an American citizen, that's your job. It's your job to be vigilant. If you're an end-time Christian, it's your job to watch and to be preparing and to have your lamp full of oil.
All right, folks, well, that's going to end it for this. I'm Nathan Leal. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.